Hey, I'm Daniel from the beautiful Mailbox Company. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to change a hinge on one of our cast mailboxes. First you'll need these tools. A 10 millimeter wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flat head screwdriver. Our hinge replacement kits contain four 716 bolts, four washers, and one stainless steel spring hinge. First open your mailbox and notice the two bolts and washers already in place. Use your 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the bolts to remove the door. Notice that as I'm loosening the bolts, I then can switch to my Phillips head screwdriver to loosen them further. Keep loosening both sides until you remove them completely and carefully set the door aside. Now if you look on the bottom of the box, you'll notice two more sets of bolts, just like the two we already removed. We're going to use the same 10 millimeter wrench and Phillips head screwdriver to remove those. Keep your thumb over the bottom of the hinge while doing this just in case there is some tension left in one of the springs on the hinge you are removing. Once the bolts are completely removed, lift the old hinge completely off and set it aside. The new hinges have quite a bit of tension so the best thing to do is grab your flathead screwdriver and gently pry open the hinge in the little crease here. Once the hinge is open, you will notice four slots. Two will have horizontal openings and two will have vertical. What I like to do is start with the horizontal openings first. They go on the bottom of the mailbox, like so. You can see the spaces align pretty easily. Now with our other hand, we're going to grab a bolt with the washer already on it and replace the ones that were there previously. It's important to leave a little play to allow for adjustments a little later. Now it's time to reach for the door and align the top portion of the hinge with the vertical slots. Just like we did on the bottom of the box, we're going to slip a bolt through the washer like so and push it through the slots on both sides. While you're tightening them, take note at the end of the doors. You want to make sure they don't intersect with the sides. The vertical slots will allow you to adjust the door up and down until it matches up right. Once the door is closing properly, tighten the two bottom bolts and take another look at the door closing from the front. Then tighten the bolts the rest of the way on the door and the bottom of the box. And there you have it, the mailbox door is working perfectly.